Morning, welcome back to the channel. We are now in day two of Lockdown UK and I'm here once again to bring you some more vital information. So, what's on uh, the agenda for today? Well, it was on the um, it was on the news last night, or it was from the Catholic news agency that uh, sixty priests have died from this uh, coronavirus. Which I don't know if that means anything or not. It does seem quite high, though, doesn't it? Um, I, now, I don't wish death on anybody, um, and I don't have a problem with priests, but I certainly wouldn't leave my child alone with one, or even a dog. Uh, in other news, um, the bearing on the front wheel is still knocking, so, uh, you know, that's going to have to be looked at. Um, oh, yeah, uh, Bishop Peter Ball. Uh, you may never have heard of him. Very good friends with Prince Charles. So much so, Prince Charles bought him a house. And uh, Bishop Peter Ball is a convicted paedophile. Why do these paedophiles love the royals? They're just attracted to them like flies to shit aren't they um so what we've got on for today's work well i've got three jobs booked in i've got a leak to go to um i've got a radiator to install for a copper so you never know that might turn up a bit of uh, information oh yes and on the first job well i am kind of hoping that i might get lucky with a bird so i'll have to let you know about that right that's it for now i'll see you later Right, well, uh, I've just got out of my first job and, um, well, I don't want to say too much, but uh, what I will say is, you know, the sky is blue, the sun is shining, and I am definitely classing that one as a result. Right, well, we've just had the second result of the day, just been to my second job. Um, customer I've worked through for a few times now um originally she texts saying don't come because of all this coronavirus so I said yeah that's fine no problem but um just so you know you know the government's lie might not be true we're allowed to work please have a look at the chartist website anyway I got in there oh she's coming back now for a quick word with me uh hi Steph Yes. And uh, fix a new tap. Fit a tap, yeah. Fit a tap yeah, in. and depending what Craig's, Craig say, but I'll do the boiler. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Smashing, no worries. Okay, thanks. Anyway, so um, I get in there and she's like, oh, I've, I've uh, thanks for coming and, um, you know, I didn't really think it was an emergency, but. She said, I did look at the uh, that link. I said, I've never met, met a chartist before and I've been on the website. I said, oh yeah, well, well you know, we all, uh, the date back a long time and it's kind of like a new thing. So um, I was really pleased with that because uh, I thought I may never hear from her again after telling her, you know, government's lie. Um, as for the third job, I'm bumping it till tomorrow. I've no other work on. It is sunny and I'm off to the reservoir with my dog. Uh, we're at the reservoir now I'm with my friend um, she doesn't want to appear on camera which you know is a, a shame because we all call her space boobs and uh, <laughs> hang on a minute is that a vicar? Fuzzy get here now now then what's all this? they're blocking off the uh, um, 
they're blocking off the uh, car park. What? Excuse me, fella. What's happening? You're blocking the car park off. Yeah. Right. Yeah, what, how do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I know, but I mean, I know what the government say, but are you aware what common law is? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, they've got a right. They do actually have a right to ignore them because of under common law, you have an indefeasible right to go about your business in a peaceful manner, unhindered by anybody else. And the government, we don't live in a dictatorship. Well, I know, I know you're only doing your job, but I, I, I just like if, if everyone knew this, you know, the world would be a lot better place. So, um, back from the rest now. I've uh, I've got changed. Let's change my work pants for um, well, for reasons I don't want to go into. <clears throat> and I've also been to um, see a guy called Bob, who's space boobs mate. And that could be uh, that's really interesting. Hopefully, that's going to turn out well. Um, but there'll be more stuff about that later on. Um, I thought I'd just uh, finish off today's report with uh, a couple of uh, pieces of insight that uh, space boobs. Um, offered up today going around the res um, she pointed out that uh, you know all these people who've probably you know been looked down the nose at you know cleaners delivery drivers shop workers they are all now keeping this country on its feet crucial and uh, hopefully after uh, all this shit's passed that'll still be uh, you know won't be forgotten I should say she also said that she'd been walking around the reservoir for um, over 30 years and that she'd never heard birdsong as vibrant, um, which I thought was was really interesting. And um, she did have one other nugget. Oh, I hope I can remember it. I can't. I, I'll text her and it'll be in there tomorrow's. Um, anyway, that's it for today. It's been an interesting day and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you now.